entras? Yes. Yo. Pasok na po ako guys sa Israel, ang bayan ng Panginoon. Hello. Hello. Okay, thank you. Welcome to What Do You Know About Israel? The rules are quite simple. I'll ask you a question and show you possible answers. If you think this is the right answer, talk loudly. Let's hear you. Come on, don't be shy. If you think this is the right answer, clap for this one. Is that all clear? Let's start. This is Israel. More than half of the area of Israel is covered in desert. Almost 4,000 students come to the Israeli desert each year from 30 countries around the world. So what do you think? Why do they come? For a massive peace party in the desert? Give a round of applause if you think that's true. Or to participate in agriculture training programs. Let's give it a clap if you think that's right. That's true, the parties in Israel are excellent. But 4,000 students come each year to participate in special agricultural training programs that help them become entrepreneurs in their own countries. Despite the desert conditions in Israel, agriculture flourishes. And we share this knowledge with over 30 countries, affecting 300 million people in the process. So, let's play. What do you know? What percentage of fresh produce that Israel exports globally is grown in extreme desert conditions? And what percentage is from a typical agricultural land? Now, do you think this is the right answer? Go ahead and clap, it's okay. Or do you think option B is the right answer? Come on, don't be fast, boy. Let's hear you. Cyber Park Capital in the world. And when you invest, you reap 
the benefits. Just this year, 21 Israeli cyber companies have been declared a unicorn. A startup that is valued at over $1 billion. So, what do you know? How many Israeli companies are considered unicorns? Is it A, 37? Or B, 95? 37, uh, it's a good for starters, but the state of Israel actually is proud of 95 unicorn companies. Though Israel is the only Jewish country in the world, Israeli society is a fascinating mosaic of people, history, and culture. But we in Israel see every minority as an opportunity for new ideas, talents, and abilities. And the results are truly inspiring. But not only in the present, Israel has layers upon layers of fascinating past in Jerusalem, Masada, Caesarea, and around Galilee Sea. Sixteen sites in Israel have been designated World Heritage Sites by UNESCO. So, let's play What Do You Know About Culture in Israel? This is the old city in Jerusalem. In one square kilometer, there are three holy sites of three major religions. What are those sites? Is it the Baha'i Gardens, Masada, and the Church of Renunciation? Five Nights of Eight? Is it the Dome Rock, the Western Wall, and the Church of the Holy Sunday? Clap your hands if that's the right answer. Baha'i Gardens are located in Haifa. Masada is in the desert near the Dead Sea. And the Church of Annunciation is in Nazareth. Every weekend in Jerusalem, the capital of Israel, thousands of Muslims pray at the Temple Mount. Thousands of Jews pray at the Western Wall. And thousands of Christians pray at the Church of the Holy Son. In fact, that's the meaning of Jerusalem. City of peace. Mother's family, Jewish. What 
the challenge when you are looking for the right tone. Lucy, by the way, great meeting you. So, forget about the right tone, people. Follow the beat. There's a beat to this world. The rhythm, pulse. Can you hear it? It comes from everywhere. From the east, from the west, from the Shabbat, and the Janu. It is our beat marching together to the future. At this very moment, somewhere around the world, a new idea is born. And another one on the other side of the world. Each one of these ideas will change our future. How do I know? See for ourselves. Maestro, take us there.